it's a place where you can create and you don't have to follow exact instructions. You can create whatever you want. This is probably my number one favorite place in the world because you get to build stuff. You can actually think for yourself and solve problems. I've been able to open up doors that were previously closed in a very quiet library, but it has really just changed the way I think about what I'm teaching each day with the kids. Our innovation station gives kids with sparked curiosity a place to ignite that curiosity. With the Otter Cares Foundation, we've been able to purchase robots and a little bit electronic building blocks and 3D printers and these just become another tool in their tool bag that they can pull out to make their ideas become a reality. The grant, not only from a dollar standpoint, but from a philosophical standpoint, allowed us to think differently. And, and it's in that thinking differently that we've recreated the, the use of this space. I think for me as a kindergarten teacher, and I know for other teachers, it's just been a nice opportunity to see bigger. I get to watch these kids just come alive in here. <laughs> Having the volunteers from the Auto Rex company come for their close to open day was just um, such a treat. The kids just thought that they were meeting rock stars, you know, as they walked in. I was like, these are real engineers and real marketing professionals, and they're doing the things that you are excited to learn and grow into. We, we rewarded some really phenomenal grants, but one of the best things, above and beyond the, the dollars, it's, it's knowing that we have a community resource that we can call on and say, hey, we need help to have a private sector community resource that's, that's dedicated um, a sizable amount of time and energy to education is, you can't put words to it. I've already known this, but it showed me more that if you would never give up, you can always accomplish what you want to accomplish. Thank you, Otterbox!